Yeah. You got to be obsessed with just making beats. Not even girls, nothing, bro. Beats, 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 beats. It'll pay out because I, I, I got sidetracked for a second, bro. Like, and once you get in that fast life, bro, that obsession of the music, it just takes that whole passion away for a second. Yeah. And you so, forget. So, like, the you, lifestyle can take the passion away from the music? 100%. You get it. Cause that 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 shit feels too validating, feels too good. All mm-hmm. that the, the all that like the girls, the drugs, and just li- being here and there, being and, lit and, and being cool, pulling up. A little, it's slightly better feeling than making a good beat. It's like, oh, this is, and it's from beats. Mm-hmm. So it's like, oh, the work I put in made me this. Mm-hmm. But nah, bro, the beats is where the kid that sits in his room all day, nerd, being a nerd, making that beat, or in the studio all day, no matter what, why everyone's out. Mm-hmm. You guys gonna pay off. I feel like focus is not something that's talked about enough in a producer community. I feel like that um, a lot of people, and even if you look at a lot of famous producers that have like a lot of clout or they might have like a lot of placements and whatnot that are really, really doing it, they don't talk about that side of it, man. And it's easy to look at them and just be like, dang, like it happened overnight for them. They were, it it just happened out of nowhere. But here you could clearly see Big Head saying like, bro, it still comes with challenges. Like you have to be locked in. You cannot be out here being distracted so easily. And it, it put it like this. And he even, I, another takeaway I took from this is that, bro, the more you start to level up, the harder it gets. Because you got to think, bro, the more you start to level up, the more temptations it is, the more people you meet that might not be the greatest for you. You feel me? You see, he said, bro, stay away from the girls, stay away from the drugs, stay away from anything that could possibly deter you because meanwhile let's say you slipping up you you falling off you're not even on your grind like he said it's a kid in his room that's that's working non-stop bro that's like he not going outside that's the type of time you got to be on at least in the beginning before everything before everything happens for you and i'm telling you producer the, the big producers they not saying that bro they not they not telling you that so when you look at their gram and you see plaques and you see you see all type of accolades and whatnot, it's easy to think like, dang, like, how did he do that? What, what, like he got lucky or something like that? It's like, nah, bro, he was really locked in. You know what I'm saying? Um, and someone like Big Head that has plenty of stories that has struggled with a lot of external things, I feel like we should believe this even more. It's coming from somebody that lived it, bro. He got crazy platinum records. This this guy produced Gucci Gang, bro. That, that song went like three times platinum as a single. Like, he he paid, bro. Like, he good. So, he giving us the formula. Um, and even me, bro, even when I started getting some type of traction, I, looking back, I was slipping up too. Like, I was getting minds, get, having a mindset to where, you know what, I'll do that tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it another day. Like, just not being as hungry uh, as I was. And it's easy to get to... to uh, get fake fulfillment out of other things like he said when you're doing certain things that that give you pleasure it's like dang that was that was better than making a beat like that's how you feel in, in the moment because it's instant gratification you know partying is instant gratification bro anything that that gives you an uh what's the word an immediate feeling of uh fulfillment that's all that is with delayed gratification is you making beats nonstop. You're not getting no money from it in the beginning, but somebody pop off and use your beat a year later that you made when you was in grind mode, and now you eating off that beat for years to come because they made a big song off of it. Like, that's delayed gratification, bro, putting in the work now to get uh, the results later on. So I feel like the message should be, bro, put your head down, put the work in, and even when you start seeing some form of traction, put your head back down and put more work in instead of getting comfortable and instead of uh, instead of uh, feeling like you made it, bro. Because it, how to say this, man? I don't want people to to get accomplishments and to get accolades and then not be grateful because that's a bad thing too, right? If you, you accomplish something great and then you're looking at yourself and you're like, uh, what's the word? You're looking at yourself and you're like, dang, I still haven't done anything. When in reality, you came a long way from what you you have done in the past. That's not what I'm saying. I just want you to acknowledge what you did. All right, that was cool. But put your head back down and keep working. 
Because the moment you start getting comfortable and you're like, dang, like I'm I'm here now, like I did it. That's when you start you saying I'm you know getting stagnant and you start uh you know kind of relaxing a little bit. And like you said, it's another kid that's not relaxing, bro. And somebody always coming from for your spot. Like people think, oh, I'm in my own lane. Nobody could do this like me. Nobody could do this like me. Like, bro, it's people coming, gunning for your spot. We in the age of Instagram and YouTube. So everybody can watch what you're doing and watch the moves you're making and kind of like mimic you in a way. They could look at you and be like, dang, I want to do that, but I could do it better than him. And they will take what you're doing and try to perfect it better than you. Grinding all day long trying to do that. Meanwhile, you outside partying. You get what I'm saying? So I feel like that's what it all comes down to, bro. You just got to be... You got to be focused, man. This was a little longer video than usual, but um, I really I felt like I really needed to break that down for a lot of people because people in the music industry and people producers, bro, they not they not talking about stuff like that. They they not. It look glorious and whatnot on the ground, but they not showing you what really went down, what took place for them to get there and for them to stay there. Uh, So let me know what y'all think of this, man, this topic. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this and me break down topics, I'm out, man.